Good morning, it's Sherry from Studio 28E, and um, those of you that are in my Facebook group have seen uh, pictures of where I was uh, boiling a red cabbage so I could use the water as a dye. So I've got various uh, strips of paper here to show um, the various stages of the, the water. So this is when I put the strips in. Let me see. Um, without anything in the in the water, that was just the blue colored water, and it was dark, and that's the only. It came out kind of greenish, with a little bit of blue, like on the folds. Hope you can see that. See if I can get something white here. Really white. Okay, so that's um, without anything in the water. And then I added some alum and vinegar. Now you're going to see on some of these where it's got like dual colors, it's because they laid on top of each other. So this would be like just a plain blue. This would be the blue, the plain blue that the um, alum and I added vinegar too. Alum and vinegar were in this one, but they were laying on top of these so the colors kind of ran. And just for the heck of it, I dyed um, some oh eco dyed pages with it to see or maybe they were coffee stain papers just to see what they would come out looking like and they're a little dark but it takes on the blues and changes things to green and um, this is just I only have the thin strips and I don't know why but these are just blue. Um, well, they're all curled up on me, but these are just the blue with the alum and the vinegar. So I think I like that color the best. Um, I hope you can see those colors. They're really very pretty, and I think it gives you a little bit of a darker, more of a colonial type blue than maybe, say, the blue food coloring is. So I've got over a half a gallon of this. I'm going to use some to dye some sheets with, sheets of paper, and then I'm going to freeze the rest. And I don't know if when you freeze it, it will change the colors or not. Um, I never did get any violets out of these or purple colors or reds. This is all, this. these were the color variances I got. So I know I'm going to pull out some of my frozen, uh, let's see, what is it? Avocado tea that I had made with a purplish color avocado and it made a beautiful pink. But I'm gonna pull out some of that and thaw it out and I'm going to try it because supposedly that's supposed to turn purple. So I'm going to try that a little bit later. But right now I'm going to be working on a journal. Uh, I think first I'm going to do a video of a kit. And then I'll work on a journal. So stay tuned for my phase three of uh, dyeing whole sheets of paper with the red cabbage dye. Thank you for watching.